It was the night before Christmas, and all through Black Rock, not a creature was stirring, and the doors were all locked. Though the place was in ruin, and lacking in care, there was still hope the dinosaur soon would be there. And the mage was trying to sleep in his bed, while visions of science danced in his head. This Christmas he'd be all alone and cold, and worried he would be until he was old. But then out on the farm there arose such a clatter, he sprang from his bed to see what was the matter. With his swift wolf's gale he flew like a flash, fearing the endermen came for a clash. And the moon on the head of the golem of snow made the maid think that he was on fire below. But then all of a sudden he knew his eyes saw a red-headed girl and her pet dinosaur. But that wasn't the only thing his eyes did view. The creatures of his family, they were all there too. The girl and her dinosaur gave lead to the crowd, when all of a sudden she shouted out loud, Now Johnny Iron, Red Five, Gilbert the Gollums, now Daisy, Stephen, Nilesy the Mooshrooms, now Ghost Junior, Willow, Teep the Dinosaur. Now all of you together, together we roar! And as the mage gazed in wonder at the creatures below, the sky up above had just started to snow. When Gilbert found out, he gave a booming hooray, as the snow made his body grow three sizes that day. And as the mage watched from a perch on the roof, he saw Mushroom's frolic on each little hoof. They knew that their owner was finally home, and Teep gave the wolves both a chewy new bone. Johnny Iron had made it out of the well. Red Five guessed he had a grand story to tell, and they both returned hastily back to their pens, knowing the castle was safe once again. The mage looked out further, he swore he could see, a twinkling of lava from across the great sea. The girl and her dinosaur both turned around. They knew their volcano was now safe and sound. The pool boy, Nilesy, read a great story that day, while baby Jim the volcano under a blanket did lay, with a tale of magic, friendship and war. The volcano settled and slumbered once more. The creatures had rested back at the hold, while the maid heard a new story now being told. The girl and her dinosaur explained the great tale of Jeff and the rebels just stopping to inhale. And later that night, as they sat on their chairs, with the hole in the wall letting in the cold air, they handed round presents, they laughed and had cheer, with the trio together there would be no more fear. As the dinosaur made his way back to his tower, and the scientist and wizard saw the late hour, she could be heard saying, as she turned out the light, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.